Hello and welcome, my name is Dan, and today we are playing The Lord of the Rings. On today's episode, we shall delve into the mystical woodlands of Lothlorien. Is it woodlands or is it just forest? Is it one and the same? I don't know, but anyways, here's the video. I've not been here for many long years, but I remember the way to Karaskalothan, tree city of the elves. Elves! Be at ease. I am Haldir of Lorien. I have been following you for some time. You breathe so loud, I could shoot you in the dark. Huh? Have no fear. <laughs> the Lady Galadriel is expecting you. <laughs> but the dwarf is not permitted on our land. But Elrond chose him. He's brave and faithful. Very well. But he must travel blindfolded. I am no spy. I will not walk blind like a prisoner. My people do not serve the enemy. This is our law. I will go forward free. A plague on dwarves and their stiff necks. Hold. We will all go blindfolded. <laughs> mm. A merry troop of fools we shall look. I will be content if Legolas shares my blindness. But I am an elf. I am a kinsman here. Shall we say a plague on elves and their stiff necks? The company shall all fare alike. Bind us all, Haldir. So be it. I shall lead you safely to Karos Galothan, where Lord Celeborn and Lady Galadriel await you. So you shall. Gandalf the Grey set out with your company. Where is he now? Alas, lady. Gandalf fell into shadow. And he lays there right at the bottom. In all the long years full of grievous tidings, these are the most evil. When escape seemed beyond us, he saved us. Do you know what's most evil about this whole game? The shape of your nose. From the profile. Jesus Christ. To help you, especially the one who bears the burden. Your quest stands upon the edge of a knife. Stray even a little, and it will fail to the ruin of all. Yet, hope remains while all the fellowship is true. Rest, and we will not speak of the road ahead for a while. And so, we go on to spend, like, a month in Lothlorien. Lothlorien? I've never seen such beauty. Hmm. Indeed, it does look pretty nice. Like, of all the areas in this game, I think maybe the most effort went into decorating this one. Like, look at all the glasswork, even though... Is it copy and paste? Is it? Is it? Is it? Nearly. I feel like it's one drawing being split into several different windows. Yeah, I don't think there's much action going to happen in this area, so I think this is all about just chatting with the, fe with the rest of the Fellowship and mourning Gandalf, who obviously died in the last episode. There is no evil in this land, or its people, unless a man brings it here himself. Mm, okay, that was very contextual. The elves sing a lament for Gandalf. I share their grief. It'd be weird if you didn't. To think, Frodo, all of this, built in and upon great trees, it's marvelous, truly marvelous. That's probably the one sentence so far that made any sense. I mean, Aragorn, yeah, cool. I wonder if I shall see any elf magic while we're here. Probably seeing it right now. Did you try these elven delicacies? I've never tasted anything like it. Imagine spending thousands of years perfecting your recipes. Oh yeah, we had Lambus before. We picked it from a corpse of a troll and a goblin. It was great. The Lady Galadriel. It surprises me to say this, but she is fair beyond belief. Indeed, there is no one fairer in any land. And your face looks like it's made out of minced meat. I do not feel too sure of this elvish lady and her purposes. Okay. Well, funny that coming from you, Boromir. Rest, and we will not speak of the road ahead for a while. Your quest stands upon the edge of a knife. Stray even a little, and it will fail to the ruin of all. 
Well, we all know that there will be a lot of straying in this quest. Here is the mirror of Galadriel. I have brought you here to look in it. It's confusing how it doesn't tell you that they've, at this point, spent like a good few days in this forest resting. They just kind of throw you into the scene like, yeah, there we fucking go now. And may yet be. I'll have a peek. There's only stars. Wait. Well, it's Ted Sandyman cutting down all our trees. I'll cut him down. <laughs> His face there was like. They've run off my old gaffer. I have to go to the Shire. Would you oh, some way. Frodo's quest? No. Do you wish to look now, Frodo? I will look. I see a land in shadows, and an old man walking toward me. Gandalf? No. White robes. Saruman? There's the sea. A tall ship from the west, and a white fortress, with seven towers. Another ship, with black sails. And the emblem of a white tree. I see a great battle. And an eye. Ringed with fire. I know what you saw. For it is in my mind as well. But the enemy cannot hurt you here. This land is not preserved merely by singing or arrows. Behold, Nenya. The ring of adamant. A ring Sauron cannot rule. Unless you fail. And he gains the ring. We would be laid bare before him. Yet, if you succeed, my power will diminish, and Lothlorien will fade. Which do you choose, lady? My love for my people is deeper than the sea. Yet I would cast it all away rather than submit to Sauron. I wish you to destroy the ring. I would give you the ring, if you ask for it. You would give me the ring freely? In place of the Dark Lord, you would set up a queen. And I shall not be dark, but beautiful and terrible as the morning and the night. All shall love me and despair. No, I pass the test. I will diminish and go into the West. And remain Galadriel. Lady Galadriel, you wear one of the Rings of Power. When I wear the One Ring, why can't I see into your mind, or the minds of others? Because you have not tried. But I warn you not to. You would have to become far stronger, and train your will to the domination of others. And then you would lose the one virtue that makes you more able to resist the Ring than any of the wise and powerful. We will not speak more of it. Let us go. The next day we said farewell to Lorien. Celeborn and Galadriel gave us boats of elven make, and we set out on the great river Anduin toward Mordor. It's really weird how this game, so many levels in this game are just action-oriented, like like all the levels in Moria, for example, or ever since we got, ever since we got debris, most of it was just about action, with the exception for Rivendell. So it's very weird when the game just, where they've put these levels which are simply just for the for the story's sake just for the dialogues it's um it's a very unbalanced experience in that sense but anyways that was Lorian so I'll see you in the next video bye bye <laughs>